Like pants are one. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. This is my hair. Gonna be hooked for that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, um, it's really late. Well, I guess it's not really late. It's like probably eight or nine, or so. it's like seven thirty p.m. And baby bro is asleep. He got a bath, got his hair washed, got him all lotioned up and massaged, and he is fed with a clean diaper, and he is out in his own bed tonight, so I'm a happy mama. Um, bro is actually at work and for tonight, and I am home alone. I'm getting ready to work out. So what I have on is, I have two wraps on. I have the wrap that they gave me after I had my C-section to help um, brace my incision and just to help get things back into place. So I think I wore this for about mm, maybe a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks maybe. And then I start wearing the C panty to help um, brace my incision, which helped. But I started back wearing this because I don't know, I feel like I should have never stopped wearing it. And I still have a ways to go with my belly. I also have on this Keisha K.R waist trainer and this has been helping now i am completely 100 percent pain free um my incision looks great i already saw my doctor um i mean of course the healing is a process but for the most part i'm great and he gave me the okay to work out and to wear my trainer so and that's what i'm doing so i've been working out for about hmm, off and on two weeks my goal is to work out every day and i think i've been doing okay with that i've been trying to work out every day the main thing is to make sure that i do something every day and not just sit around um i mean of course when you have your new baby you know you take care of your baby you eat you sleep and then you're tired so you don't want to do anything else but i have been making myself get off my butt so that i can do a little bit extra um, I mainly do like floor work with the band or I'll go to the gym which is in my complex and I'll get on the treadmill for about 20 minutes. Usually I listen to like an album and I'll run throughout the entire album. But today I'm going to take it a little easy because yesterday I did, I killed my leg. And what I did start doing was working out with my baby actually and I do not recommend this if you are tired you know you always want to make sure that you are well rested and you have food because if you're going to work out with your baby you do not want to drop your baby but basically while i'm holding him i'm doing my squats or i'm doing my um my thigh workouts with my band and it's it's really simple and easy it's not nothing that's horrible it's very simple you could do it while holding your baby um, as long as you, you know, you you feel strong enough to it. Look what he is doing. Oh, he not doing it no more. Hold on, he got the He was up. holding his bottle. Literally holding it by itself. Look, look, look. He put two hands on it and was like gripping it. it. Look, watch. Look at you, baby. Look at him. <laughs> nah, don't start trying to stop doing it because I'm recording. I'm trying to hold his own battle. All right. This is my hair. And I love it. So I'm gonna try to keep this up for a minute. So we'll see how long it lasts. Look how long it is. Super long. Time we're attempting to get him dressed.
They are wearing their little matching outfits. Okay, so now we're leaving. He wants some attention. Like Panther one. Yeah. She did a good job on them costumes. Yeah. Do you know you finna look like your daddy again? Well, you already look like your daddy, but. Where are your little legs? <laughs> Give me your little footies. Or y'all can stand on this wall. Look at my man. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. From head to toe. <sighs> good morning. So, well, good afternoon. Because it's like really in the afternoon. And we're all just really getting up. Um already pumped for the first time like today and i fed baby because he was just crying and he was hungry and i'm still really tired but that doesn't matter i still have to get my day started because he doesn't care if i'm so tired he already had his little morning routine he ate got a little wiped down brushed his gums and so he's he's tired he's back sleepy i'm sleepy mommy hurry up I'm just gonna make like a little omelet and some eggs. Some omelet. I'm just gonna make some omelet and some oatmeal. Um, just to get my day started. So hopefully he lets me put him down in his swing for a few minutes. I literally have to do this quick. Okay. I really didn't get to film much today because he was asleep and I really wanted to take advantage of the time of him being asleep by cleaning up and doing some laundry and preparing myself to go back to work like within the next couple weeks because I have been off since, let me see, November, December, January, February, five months, yeah, five months. I, I'm a little ready to go back to work because I do get a little bored in Miss that money, so I just don't want to leave my baby. I don't want to leave my baby. But he's going to be in good hands. He's going to be in the best hands because I made sure that I am actually getting ready to go to the gym as soon as Ro and Ryan and them get back so they can watch the baby and start cooking dinner. I think we're going to have some crab legs tonight. They ain't nothing new either. We stay having crab balls almost once a week. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm on my fitness journey. The main thing is, like I said, I've been working out a little bit every day and I have been seeing a lot of improvement. And I feel like most of it is because I have been breastfeeding, which has been helping me to burn those calories. But it's really about my diet. Because it's like if I'm trying to lose my stomach, I don't need to be adding anything extra that's going to make it harder for me to um, make it to my goal. So I should make a journey, a video about what I've been eating because that's the hardest thing for me. Cause, like sweets, cakes, bread, like I love that stuff, but that is not what's going to get me where I'm at, get me where I need to be. breakout on his face a uh, little dryness little rashy type looking thing the doctor said put some uh, some uh, moisturizer on it this is really good the vino baby um it's physician recommended for eczema therapy my camera isn't focusing but whatever it's a nighttime bomb it's oatmeal and it works really good his face has cleared up. Like I used this and it cleared up in 24 hours. No lie. Hi, baby.
What time is it? One o'clock. So for you FTF people, that's like three in the morning, and we just going to crab yeah, boil. Yeah, you got to get a crab boil going. You got Reggie slump on the couch. Knocked out. You got corn. Take a picture. 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 Got crab legs, a fork. Got a lot of potato over here. Damn, baby. What is it? Eight lobster tails. I got crawfish in the bed. And crawfish. You see, this is the magic recipe right here. The magic. Would you put some Hennessy in there? It's a big pot. It's called a crack pot. Once you eat it, it's going to be hooked for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting this corn already. I feel like the corn is like the best, the best um, side dish with the, with the crab. That's because that's your favorite vegetable. Trying to get him on some more green vegetables instead of eating corn all the time. There ain't no real vegetables. <laughs> He woke up. He'll be going back to sleep in a few minutes. I hope. And as you can see, the food is finished. It's leaving on my hot stove. Played over a hot stove. For my children. Alright, I 